Hey, what is up guys? It is your boy Manny here and welcome to another video on the channel. Today we've got another player review with our boy Yuri Berejice. These player reviews are coming thick and fast. I mean, I think this is the fourth one that we've done. So if you guys haven't checked the ones out before, I don't know what you're doing. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment and share. Let's get to 2k subs by the end of the week. I mean, by the end of the month, I know that there's literally one day left. We're only 30 subs away and you guys can do that. Guys, if you're enjoying the content, make sure to like, subscribe, comment and share if anybody wants to see these cards. We are going to be putting an anchor on Yuri, but before we talk about Yuri Berejiche, I want to talk to you guys about my weekend league challenge. So we're doing a weekend league challenge over on Twitch where you guys get to decide my weekend league team. All you need to do to participate is to go onto my TikTok, my latest post on TikTok and comment any player you want, any name. Literally, that's it. And then I'll make an 11 man squad from all the names that have been drafted so literally it could be as silly as Akin Fenway, it could be Yuri Berejice, it could be Ronaldo, it could be Messi, it could be all, any sort of player that you think comes to your mind, it could be bronze, it could be all goalkeepers, if every single person puts a goalkeeper I've got no choice but to make a squad full of goalkeepers so you guys get to decide what I rock up with during weekend league for the last 10 games so yeah guys also Let's go straight into the player review and uh, let's let's tell you guys if you should do him. Firstly, we picked up Yuri Berechiche at around about 143k. He's currently at 150k, his price is going up. And I'm not gonna lie to you, this card is so appealing because firstly, he's probably gonna get a plus two boost. I really, really do think so. Uh, especially in La Liga, his, um, he, like they probably will get a clean sheet within five games, but if he does get a plus two boost, imagine 90, like imagine his pace stats being 92. Um, he would not need a pace boost from then. I mean, he doesn't. Then you can go straight on with a Sentinel and he'll practically have 99 defending, 99 physical and 92 pace, which will be absolutely cracked out for a center back. Now, this card is only 5 foot 11, so he's not the tallest and he has high medium work rates, so very similar to our boy Sergio Ramos. Now, what I am going to do within this game, I'm going to actually check how good he is in left back, how good he is in center back, and also how good he is in DM, because he has great passing stats. His vision's not the best, but he has decent passing stats, and he's got really, really, really good dribbling. And um, yeah, well, let's get straight into it. I mean, there is no tactics that, we, that you guys need to know of because I didn't really put any tactics on him. But this is the squad that we will be using. I have to use a truck Sol Campbell next to him, but we're gonna sub off Sol Campbell and move him to center back at like half time. So let's go into the game and I'll see you guys in the game. All right, so firstly, I just wanna see how he feels on the ball. He does have three star, three star. Oh, he does feel really, really nice. For a left back, he doesn't even feel like a left back. Look at that run on the wing great little ball in there oh it dribbles past him so nicely he doesn't need the skills to get past do you know what his strength is actually like very good <laughs> Okay, so this is a left back. You guys need to bear in mind. He's a left back. Pass out. Okay, decent little pass. I just want to see if he can cross it, or, like switch it. But there is no space for that anyway. Good pressure, that pressure was really, really good. Making the run on the overlap through sees a ball. Right guys, so it is half time and I have to say, like no one can pass him on that left hand side. Well nothing really is going down the left hand side. What we are gonna do now is we're gonna move him into centre back and just see how he does. Um and honestly I I really love his runs. Like I really really love his runs. I actually prefer him to my Robo and also Hernandez. 
Um, there is just something about this card. I mean, a lot of these, a lot of these left back, right back cards, you don't really know until you play with them how they feel. But on the ball, he feels so good. Um, which which Robbo and and these lot are missing. Now he is in centre back, so we'll probably get a better chance to see his whippies. Right guys, EA just kicked us out of our last foot champs game as you guys saw. However, what we're going to do is play the second game with him as a centre back and also a CDM. Actually, that was perfect that the game basically ended after half time. The main reason being is because now I get to do a half in each position to tell you what his best position is and if he's any good, you know? So yeah. Although I'm a little bit annoyed by EA for giving me a DNF, my internet's working fine. <laughs> Cause I'm literally listening to music. Well, not really listening to music, but I'm listening to something, a podcast on YouTube and that didn't crash. Well, while my FIFA is messing up. Right, so we have moved our boy Yuri into centre back. Just let him, just, you know, let's manually move him into centre back. All right. Okay, now he's got Max Kem as well at centre back, which is even better. But Sol Campbell's gonna have to play left back for a bit. <laughs> he's gonna have to. All right, let's uh, let's do a little pass from centre back. Oh, great little, inter great little interception there, man. Oh, great tackle, Yuri. Great jumping, man. He's great in the air. And again, puts him off. Great positioning. Great distribution. Do you know what? I'm not gonna lie, I'm quite convinced that he's probably one of the best setup backs I've used in this game and he's he's a left back. And he is way cheaper than a Varan. I don't wanna move him out of centre back, that's how good he's playing there. I don't wanna move him out of centre back. But right, we're gonna move him into DM now. Um so let's see how he does. You know I'm going to put Hernandez in centre back because that Theo Hernandez is cracked at centre back as well. So let's do that. Defensive changes. So as soon as I take him out from centre back, we can see the goal. I mean, that just says something. That just says something. Or also, maybe it's because we took off our DM. Great GG with the pass, great GG again, great little one twos on a little run, thread it through, good little pass there. Oh, great little ball from Yuri. Ah, oh, Mbappe, man. Oh, Mbappe, and it all came from that little pass, that long pass from Yuri Berichiche. Right, so my final verdict on Yuri Berichiche for 140,000 coins. I feel like this guy is a snippet, man. If you guys can see the match rating, he's 7.3. He done, he did everything he needed to do. Like, um, he dribbled very well. He tackled very well. He intercepted very well. He did everything that I needed him to do and more. Um, as soon as I pulled him from centre back, we conceded two goals, um, and he was very influential in the in one of the attacks, leading to a goal for us as well from the centre of the park when he was in CDM. So, honestly, do I think that 
he is incredible yes do i think that he's worth 140k yes if i compare him to a card like theo hernandez who is like six seven hundred k is there a massive difference no honestly there isn't there isn't a massive difference between this card because look let me be real with you this card here 90 pace 84 defending 87 physical and this one here is 98 pace 85 defending and 84 physical yes as you guys if you compare them side by side um yuri barachiche only beats him on physical but if you actually look at the stats it's they're not very far apart now that plus two upgrade that yuri barachiche will get will give him very basically the same dribbling the same passing the same shooting near it's just six less pace and more defending and 89 physical so for a center back and that that's that's one thing that that hernandez is missing and that's why he's got the sentinel for a center back you need to be incredible in the air now hernandez isn't that whereas yuri berichiche has 99 jumping with an anchor he is incredible his stats are are amazing and nothing could get past him nothing so if i was you guys yeah I, I guarantee you'll probably be sick playing like that in game. He is the best centre back I have used. Full stop. I mean, he is way better than um, some I icons that I've used in draft. Like he is better than I thought he would be as a centre back. Yes, I played one half, but trust me, sometimes a half is enough to know if you like them or not. He's not clunky on the ball. He's incredible at dispossessing people, and he's great in the tackle. Now, what would I rate him out of 10? Value for money, he's, an, he's another 10. Now, there's a common trend here. I feel like a lot of these cards are good value for money because firstly, either they're being overlooked and, and Yuri Berichiche is definitely being overlooked. If he gets that 89 rate card, oh my God. Uh, secondly, they, they are just, um, they're, they're due to get an upgrade, which means that their price should be a little bit higher anyway. But I thought that this card would be at least 200K. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, so just based on that, I honestly think that for value for money, he's a 10. But in game, as a left back, I'm gonna give him a seven because he wasn't as good as say a Lucas Hernandez because Lucas Hernandez has those more added stats. Or is it Theo Hernandez? I think it's Theo Hernandez. Yes, yeah, Theo Hernandez who has those added stats. He's not even as good as Robertson going forward, um, but he did go forward well. He did put in a lovely whip, whipped ball um, and he actually has slightly better stats in the shooting department and the physical department than R. Robertson. So he is very comparable to, and the best thing is he's comparable to cards that are 500k, 600k, 700k. So yeah, it is a tough one, but I'm going to have to give him a 7.5, 7 out of 10 as a left back. As a centre back, however, I'm going to give him a solid 9.5 out of 10. So yeah and as a dm i'm gonna give him a 7.5 i'm gonna give him a 7 out of 10 he was just he was good just like the left back but he could have been a lot better he was influential as well but yeah overall if he is your center back he is a solid 9.5 out of 10 overall if he is your left back he is a solid 8 out of 10 and if he is your cdm he is a solid 8 out of 10 this is including value for money now should you get him 100 percent if you guys can afford him and you need a left back, you need a center back more so, he is the guy for you. Five foot 11 is not too short. Even though he's got high, high medium work rates, I never found that to be an issue. And he was absolutely incredible. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. And um, till next time guys, in a bit.